Okay, so I'm passing through Fort Lauderdale Airport, FLL. And I thought this is beautiful that they have this art exhibition that their employees did. I think it's wonderful. I walked all the way past it and then noticed that it was their employees. So I had to go all the way back and take individual pictures of all the artists' work. So, but this is just a quick video. So hopefully it'll be quick. You might can't see the artist's name. I'm, I'm hoping it comes through. But each picture I took with the artist's name and what they're doing. I'm just trying to go a little fast, but give you enough time to read a little bit. Now, if you want to read it, look at the still photos. I'm just going to go real quick and just let you see the pictures. For those people who don't want to scroll through 30 pictures or however many that I have. Excuse the background noise. It is the airport. But aren't these, these are beautiful pictures. And I'm, I love that they showcase their employees' work, you know. I think all airports should do this. I think... All employers should do this. This should catch on. Of course, if my employer does it, I won't have much to contribute other than some finger paint. But, hey, I'll do it. But these are beautiful, you know. All right, I'm going to stop talking and just let you hear the background noise of the airport. It's not too much going on. It's about 7. No, it's... it's yeah, it's about 7.30 in the morning here. I was on the red eye at 5.25 a.m. from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale. I have a connection as I wait my flight to, um, where I'm going? Costa Rica. Costa Rica bound. But my flight doesn't take off till 9.30, I think. 9.40. So, I have time to enjoy this beautiful visual art wow that's interesting but um yeah i'll shut up now no i won't <laughs> wouldn't be me look at this i really adore this one i adore this one see the words in the background this is miss melissa Therese works from JetBlue, but I took a still for more information on the artist, each individual artist. Hopefully it shows up. I love this one too, because y'all know I love anything water. That's Mr. Steve James. He's a guest service agent for Spirit. He took that. Oh yeah, I could take a photo and share. I have nice photos I've taken in various places. So yeah, I could be included. I like this one. <laughs> we all been here, right ladies? <laughs> I was falling for him, but he didn't have the hands to catch me. Yeah, we all been there. And it's kind of nice. It's like little paper mache. I don't want to touch it. But this is like 3D paper mache. Let me come over here. Yeah, see? It's made out of a little construction paper. I'm going to touch it anyway because I break the rules. They're all nice. You can see the people. I love that you see the people behind us and the lights of the airport. Kind of makes its own art, but there's the picture. I just think this is so fabulous that they did this. And I want to see more employers do this. Check this out. Look look at the cat. I'm just now seeing the cat. I looked at this picture already once, but walking past. And I'm just now seeing the cat. I saw the boots. Because they're also 3D. Kind of. Yeah. See? I love 3D. Look at her. Oh, let me get it without the light. Her and him talk about <laughs> pictures. That's Fabian Ibarra, ramp agent, Spirit Airlines. Well, this is nice. Cactuses, the cactus, cacti, maybe, but it's not cactuses, it's cactus or cacti. 
<laughs> just like it's not Jesus' name <laughs> to my cousin. It's Jesus' name. We do not have to emphasize the extra S. No shade. I love you, baby. I've been wanting to say, say this. <laughs> I know you know already. You know there ain't never no shade that's all love with me. I'll say what I gotta say to people's faces. Anyway, but now, I'm just a little more careful about what I say. I try to be kind all the time. I don't have to be brutally honest. I could be honest without being brutal. Learned that. <laughs> a little sugar goes a long way. Those are nice. But again, I got the stills. I don't remember taking a still of this, so let me make sure. I might have. That's Antonio Lopez. Not sure if I got a still, though. So. And look, y'all all remember the wig heads, right? All we had to do was get a wig head and color it and do some more stuff around it. That's kind of unique. Oh, here come people. I love the art of people as well. And this is just one of Frontier. I take ones of plane sometimes. This Delta. My second favorite airline. Might be moving towards my first if they would just lower their price. Delta used to be my all time favorite. Of course, not including international airlines, but out of the ones here, Delta used to be my favorite for a long time growing up. That's the only plane I knew. My grandmother. Dorothy Alexander Glover <laughs> made a name Glover put me on Delta for my very first flight and I loved it and was flying with them ever since until they prices went astronomical then Southwest came on the scene and Southwest like trumped everybody oh let me talk about this in a minute we'll just stay here for a minute I guess this is his um his tribute to the screen. Who is it? Dwayne Malcolm. But it's this little tribute to the screen. Um, yeah. I should have did one minute. I don't even know if this is going to upload. We'll see. Oh, yeah, it will. It will, it will. Just some abstracts. But, um, anyway, back to Del Southwest came on the scene with two bags free so here's the art ex exhibition telling you what they did for the employees i didn't realize i was the end at the end already and it's kind of nice all right but let me tell you about uh yes southwest came on the scene and did their thing and we did two free bags and then they became my favorite but then southwest started getting high again now so started getting high not again high so I went back to Delta. So I dilly dally between Delta and Southwest with an occasional spirit or frontier flight when it's just so, so super cheap, like this one was to Costa Rica. The bag almost paid, cost us more to, to check my bag as it did for the flight. The flight was $96 when I bought it um, in January. And then I added a bag, and the bag was $67. So, hey. I don't have a return flight yet. I don't know where I'm returning from. Y'all want to see me, don't y'all? Y'all ain't seen me in a long time. So I want y'all to see me. <laughs> don't don't y'all gig on my hair. Y'all know I be struggling with this hair lately. Uh, I don't know what it want to do. But anyway, that's it for the art show. I'm going to end right here and go on to my gate. I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all. I miss y'all. I know I don't say... Oh! Don't if you don't don't accept no friend requests from me. Don't accept no messengers or Facebook messages or anything asking you for money saying my daughter needs money or anything like that. That is not from me. My daughter does not need money. <laughs> I don't need money. Unless you just want to give me some. But if you do, you already know I don't hit you like this. They don't even speak like I speak. They don't even use words that I use. They don't even use proper punctuation with their words. And you know I'm a stickler for that. So anyway, let me go. I'll talk to y'all soon. I love y'all. Peace.